Hello once again, friends. I'm Willie. And I'm Billy. And you're watching Spotlight on Deer. And today uh, we are pleased and a little bit ashamed of the way we behaved last time, yeah. but we are so happy to have Ben Jordan back to us from uh, Real Tree Outdoors. The last time he was here, there was some ruffled feathers and troubled waters. Well, we're trying to yeah. build a bridge over him. Thanks for coming back, Ben. Bill. Uh, glad to be back, guys. We're going to try this thing again, and uh, I'm excited to be here. And, you know, TNN said, let's let's try this thing again, so I'm here. I'm looking forward to it. Well, thanks. I know I yeah. see you brought them Monster Buck videos back, trying to plug them, and yeah. we watched them again and still didn't like them, Bob. They don't get no better the second time. We we, we want to ask you, what it, what is it you'd like to talk about today? Well, you know, uh, we... Uh, TNN said something about talking about some hunting tips and maybe techniques. Uh, you know, our TV show, uh, we can talk I'll tell about. i a hunting tip I like a lot. When you get that deer lined up, you know, just like you like him like that, mash that gas. If you just let the foot off a of brake and mash that gas, uh, if you're close enough, he ain't got a chance. Pedal to steel. Bill, let me ask you a hunting question here. Is it possible to use a range finder to find your oven? Because my wife ain't cooked a lick it since we got married. <laughs> you ought to consider yourself lucky. <laughs> I like that one. That was good. He wrote that himself. I did. What kind of tip would you like to share with the folks, Bill? Well, you know, we uh, talked about horn rattling. That's something we do on our television show and also on the Monster Bucks videos that uh, you like so much. And I'd be glad to show you a little uh, thing about horn well, rattling. Well, we got some horns right, yeah. right down here, Bill. There you go. Uh, well, I tell you what, I, I brought some of my own. I, those are those are nice. Oh, but I, oh, they're not big enough for Mr. Bill Gordon. Well, there's a, there's a reason. Mr. Monster. Oh, that oh, no, that's, that's not the reason. There's Fine. A, yep. There's a reason that I like to use a little bit bigger horns because they get a little bit more volume and they reach out a little bit further. All right, let's see what uh, you what you got. Well, the first thing I like to do a lot of times, I'll use a grunt collar and I'll, I'll grunt a little bit. and. Um, He's a good grunter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, watch where you I put that mark. To. Watch where you put the mark. Uh, but I, I, I like to use a grunt call, and I'll actually take a horn, and I'll actually rake up and down the side of the tree like a buck will do. Well, you wish you'd come and rake I'll my bring, yard. And I'll bring the horns together, and I might do a little uh, what I call tickle. Yeah, that's that's cute, Bill. But, I mean, I, 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 Bill, build, I build up. The, let me ask you something, Bill. When you, when, you, when you actually get a deer to come in, you prefer the vehicle rolling, or you like to be at the full complete Look, guys, stop? I, I tell you what, I, I come back. People want me to come back, but you guys are ridiculous, and I'm, I'm out of here. I ridiculous. Wish I, yeah. Ridiculous. Yeah. Don't, for, oh, don't yeah. forget you sent a little horn there. Yeah, yeah, we Mr. might Mr. use them as a backscratcher. Mr. Monster Bucks. Mr. Monster Bucks don't even shoot them himself. No. no. If somebody else shoot them, he has got a tag on them, then he flies up there and does a recovery. I've oh, heard yeah. That, I've heard that from more than one person. Oh, it's the truth. I'm sorry. Once again, it didn't work out with Jim Jordan. Now they are the reason that hunter safety courses are mandatory. Ain't seen nothing yet, though. Them boys right there can tap an amber with a biscuit. <laughs> I don't like a darn bit of scent. Get up early every morning, and people say you're crazy for getting up at daylight and chasing these old turkeys. Obviously, they've never had a hunt like we had this morning. I guess you ought to chase them turkeys, Waddell. It's about the only thing you can hit. You miss that deer on that one tape at eight yards. I can spit eight yards. I have spit eight yards. My wife can spit eight yards. At me, she can spit eight yards. She has spit at me at eight yards. Wrong cup. Well, buddy, it's October 4th, and I still haven't heard from you. Listen, I got an uncle in Jersey that doesn't mind taking people for long car rides in the country. Capiche? Call me. I mean it. Charlie Delgado, 555-4868. Hi folks, I'm Michael Carl Michael. And I'm David Burton. Stay tuned for more Spotlight, Spotlight on Deer. Man, I wish your dog would shut up. He just, you know, he ain't fed him in a week. Billy and Willie. Yeah, they get it. You know, there's so much more to deer hunting than stand site selection or shot placement. To me, one of the most important parts of the sport is the camaraderie with your hunting buddies. And that extends into complimenting their deer. 
And I've always said, if you can't say something nice about somebody's deer, you shouldn't say anything at all. But there's very few times you can't say something nice. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Say you come back to the hunting camp and one of your buddies has shot a big eight or 10 pointer. You're gonna walk back, look into the rear of that truck and go, whoo! Oh, look at that deer. That is a trophy right Woo, there. That's going to look good on the wall I now. I guarantee you man. it is. Man. All right, let's say they shot a deer that's a little less, maybe like a four or five point deer. You're still going to walk in, look at that deer and go, man, that's a nice one right there. Oh, nice, nice. That is a nice deer. Look at the size of the feet on yeah, that deer. Look at that. Man. Big old feet. Nice. Now you know your buddy has shot less than a stellar deer when you walk to the back of the truck, you look in, and the only thing nice you can think to say is, that's, that's gonna, gonna be, be some, some good, good eating. eating. I good guarantee you it is, man, them are tender. Oh man. Look at the size of the tail on that rascal. Tail and ears and everything. Yeah. Reckon how much he weighs? I bet he go 35, 40 pounds. Reckon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, those spots just blend in, don't they? That's right. See, there's very few times you can't think of something nice to say, and that's your redneck hunting tip of the week. Hey, Bubba, did his mama run off when you shot him? What's up, ladies? <laughs> All right. Can't see no deer, hey? Looking good. See any deer? Send them over here. All right, then. Check you later. I guarantee you the lifeguard was taking a break when he jumped into the gene pool. <laughs> Talk about country is cornbread. That is the highlight of my bow hunting career right there. Man, that is awesome. We finally got a break. Yeah, that's awesome. I tell you what would be awesome if I could get rid down. of this darn rash. It would be awesome. Oh, Blanton maintained I mean, himself pretty well. This deer Usually you got them big old rubber boots on running around. All right, I'm excited. What a hunt! Jumping around like a cricket at a bullfrog family reunion. 150 to 200 yards at the most. We got in the stick camera at the most. And that is awesome. What a hunt!